Westminster. It's your friendly neighborhood equipping evangelist, George here. I'm here to present an opportunity that's before each and every one of us. With the lockdown still in effect, with Christmas around the corner, there is an opportunity for us to share why we have hope as Christians this Christmas season. So what I've done is I've created a three minute video explaining why I have hope this Christmas season. So take a look at it. It's gonna follow this video and create one for yourself because I'd love to see what gives you hope this Christmas season as I'm sure many of your non-Christian friends and family will as well. Hey friends, family, and random people that added me on Facebook. I wanted to record a short message about why I have hope this Christmas season. For many people, Christmas is the best time of the year. You have fresh snow, you have picturesque scenery, you have feasts and gift giving. It's one of the best times of the year. Um, but for many people, especially if you live in Toronto, uh, this is a very difficult time. With the lockdowns and restrictions, a lot of people's hopes are dashed. And when I think about how so many people's hopes have been dashed this Christmas, I'm thinking about two things. First, uh, Christmas is often a very difficult time for many people. I'm thinking uh, in particular people who uh, the gathering of family is oftentimes just an opportunity for strife and fighting. I'm thinking about the elderly who are abandoned by family members and think about past Christmases. And I'm thinking about people who are estranged from friends and family for different reasons. For them, Christmas is usually pretty difficult. And this is a time of the year when many of them decide to take their own lives. But there is another thing I'm thinking about, and it is that you can't have your hope in a world where viruses spread, where people die, and where governments make promises that they can't possibly keep. So instead, I'm meditating on the hope that I have. And that hope is about the person this season is about. You see, this season is about a king. It's about a king who would solve the problem that faces all of humanity. And that is our captivity to sin and our fear of death. When we think about sin, we think about it as some major harm that we do to other people. And that is true. But sin begins in the heart. It's, it's that desire that we have to do the things which we know are wrong. And it cuts down the middle of every single person's heart. And... Jesus came to save us from the power that holds us captive to do that very thing. Hundreds of years before Jesus, a representative of God, the prophet Ezekiel, foretold that there would be a day when God would take out our cold, dead hearts of stone and replace them with living hearts of flesh that desire to love God and to love our neighbor. Well, this is exactly what Jesus did when he died on the cross and rose again. You see, in his death, there was a putting to death of the old person. And in his resurrection, there is a new life. And Jesus brings with him a new life with a new heart and new bodies and uh, a life that doesn't end. So this Christmas, I'm meditating on the hope that I have, on what Jesus has done for me. And I'm praying for people to behold this child that has been given uh, to save us and uh, who gives us a hope which surpasses all of our circumstances and gives us hope in any situation that we're in. So if you have any questions, if you want to talk about this, I'd love to uh, talk to you, though probably not in person because that's not allowed. But uh, I'd love to afterwards. Uh, feel free to message me anytime. Thanks. Merry Christmas and God bless.